Hi guys, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. Today in this episode, guys, is another LEGO set review, as a matter of fact. Um, this is the LEGO Indiana Jones, the Temple of the Golden Idol set. And this is a set that I actually have been wanting to get me um, for a very, that I've been wanting, that I've been wanting to get for a very long time now. And that is because um, one of my aunts took me to this Lego convention um, in Hillsboro, where I live, and um, and we end up getting this set there. As a matter of fact, so yeah, I'm really excited that I finally got this set, and I'm excited to get into it and share my thoughts about it. As a matter of fact, so. With that said though guys, be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends because that would really help out my channel greatly. And also guys, let me, and also guys, those of you guys that are new to the channel, I do more than just um, Lego related stuff. I also play video games, I, and I also do, I also, and then I also do um, movies and physical media related content. I do all sorts of stuff like that here on my channel, as a matter of fact, guys. So if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube, guys, please make sure you go watch a couple of my other videos. Give a couple of my other videos a chance, guys. And if you do end up liking this channel, guys, please make sure you click that red subscribe button. But most importantly, press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And those of you guys that are not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you go subscribe right after this video, guys. But without any further ado, guys, enjoy the video. Let's get started here. Okay. So, um, why don't we start off with the minifigures here? Because I start off with the minifigures all the time. So, here is Indy. And I apologize if the lighting's not very good. I'm actually filming at my dining room table because the set was too big to fit on my desk. And to have my laptop there, as a matter of fact. So, so yeah. Um, so he's got his whip, and he's got good printing on his legs. And then he's got his um, burlap sack that he that he places after he takes the golden idol. And then he also has printing on his back. I can't really show it because a statue is in the way. But yeah, I do like the nice hat um, hat and hair combo that that it has. And then there is his alternate face with the cobwebs and stuff as he's running from the boulder. So set him aside. Next up, we have Satipo. And um, so yeah, this is the one that goes with um, Indy um, to, go, um, to go steal the golden idol. And he's got his torch. He's got a torch there because... If you guys remember in like the actual movie, he does have, he does carry the torch throughout most of the scene. And then he's got um, tarantulas on his back there. And then, right here, he also has an alternate expression. And then, oh, wait, wait, why didn't you stand up there as a matter? Ah, I can't get him to stand back up. Come on, stand back up. And then here is your Indian warrior. So what you do, you would place them at the end here because this is after Indy escapes, escapes from the um, from the temple. As a matter of fact, and um, I don't think oh he does have an alternate face. As a matter of fact, and um, and yeah he uh, and then there's the. Um, and then there's his back printing, his leg printing, and his torso printing. And then, here is our villain, Bullock, with his little pistol. And he's just kind of like a generic minifigure. Like, he's got print on the front and print on the back, but, but he doesn't have an alternate face because of the kind of hat that he wears, as a matter of fact, but... But yeah, the only added detail to him is that little pistol, as a matter of fact. But now, take the minifigures out of the way. So, so yeah, getting into this huge set. This um, this set is is um, wasn't any bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like um, like yeah, you have your three different sections, but there's four different features. 
to the section. So, so the first one that you build is this one right here, which has the giant boulder feature. And then you have this other feature. Hold on a sec, guys. I have to go to the bathroom. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. As I was saying, so you have your first section here with the giant boulder, and then, and then you have, and so you build this first, and then you build this section, and then the very last section that you build, that you build, is right over there, as a matter of fact, and, and, um, these skeleton knobs right here, all of these control the mechanisms, as a matter of fact, but, I'll show you how all the feature works a little bit later on in this video as a matter of fact, but you got a cobweb up here with some spiders and then have, have I picked this up carefully so you got a skeleton right there and um, it's tough to capture but you can see that there's some spikes back there behind that skeleton and that allows you to put um, Satipo back there and um, um, because he didn't make it out and so that's a nice little easter egg to place him there as a matter of fact just like in the movie and then you got some spikes and then you got a couple of spiders there and then all this leafy detail right here is pretty it looks good too and then and then that is where you would. That is where you would place your Indian ro Road Warrior, and your and your villain, which is Bullock, right there. As a matter of fact, and then you got um you got this you got like one of the tiki's or school thingy majigs up there. Got another one right here. And then, gotta pick this up again, carefully. And then right here, you got the Raiders of the Lost Ark logo, and then you got the two quote tiles. The first one says, let us hurry, there is nothing to, f to fear here. And that's from Sad to Poe, and then for Mindy, you, s you have, that's what scares me. And then, you have all that cool um, detailing right there with the schools and the tiki's right there. All most of those are stickers, but I can't really show them to you because my lighting is not very good. Pop that back into place. All right, so so now to show you how all of these um, action features work. So first, you come you come through here all the way to um, to the door here. So yeah, you may have noticed that there's a door close and you're able, oh, it's, sorry. I gotta pick this back up with the, this is, this is kind of awkward to show off, but yeah, there's this little door right there that opens and closes and you would um you would you would go through you would go through that so then you would go through that so it wouldn't already be closed but then but then you could place your setupo mini figure on here they do include um, a brown pole piece for the for the pit swinging um, area because the whip that Indiana Jones is holding isn't very good. So, and then the mechanism, and then you can swing this back and forth. And then the mechanism is this knob right here, and you can you can swing them back and forth just like that. You can kind of see them moving. And then, and then I did, and I did forget to mention the the one that controls the door is this knob right here, the one right next to it. And then, and then the next feature is you're supposed 
to go and Indy is supposed to place the bag on the stand here just like that So he's meant to steal the idol. And to have the whip. So and then, so and then, this is cool. So first what you do, oh, I'm turning it the wrong way. You drop the bag, just like that. You turn it once, and then when you turn it again, that this falls out. So there's a light brick in here. I kinda I kinda did it wrong for a second. Okay, so drop the bag and then as it's dropping the light brick shows up. And then you, and then you turn it the second time and then the thing collapses. So and then Indy swings across here but Satipo ditches him so he gets killed off right there but and that but then the door shuts and then after he makes it out the giant boulder comes as a matter of fact so so and then the mech so the mechanism is this one right here so and then you can reset this and it's pretty satisfying to watch to like watch all of these features especially from um from from the back side here let me reset that up for a second okay so and then back here um i get it 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 looks it looks like a mess and obviously this is something you do not want to like display in like the middle of your table this is something that you like want to put on like a shelf or something and have this facing the wall and then have all of the glory on the other side facing the other other direction but i kind of like that they included this because it's fun to like watch the mechanism um how the mechanism works so you can see how the how the arm works for the um um for the giant boulder right here but then but then watching the one for the door so yeah and then you can see that other arm it goes back and forth when you open and close the door which i think is really cool and then the one for the the one for the swinging thing is right here and if you had to ask me guys this this one this part was actually pretty difficult to build like let me tell you I actually had had to go back and reassemble this so many times as a matter of fact sorry guys I'm moving that out of the way so so and then um so first so the reason why I reset it at, it's because I wanted you guys to see how the mechanism works. So this thing goes up a little bit, and then when you turn it, it pushes, it pushes the, it pushes the tiki, it pushes the tiki out. As a matter of fact, so yeah. In my in my opinion, it's pretty cool to like actually watch like um like the mechanism and to have like all these different. Um, play functions work as a matter of fact and, and if you had to ask me this is um i think this this um this diorama set is probably just as good as um as some as um as the other dioramas that we have gotten because most of them have came have come from star wars and then and then we got one from Jurassic Park but i'm hoping that we'll get more 
um, that we will get like more other dioramas from other um, set themes as a matter of fact but there is no report that we're getting more Indiana Jones sets so I plan to get the other two eventually just to have them because um, because we're rumored to not get any more but then but then I actually heard somebody say they should take this exact same concept and turn it in to the temple um, from the Last Crusade, and I 100% agree with that, because if they do that, I, I would put it right next to this one, as a matter of fact, but unfortunately, there is no report that we're, um, that we're getting more Indiana Jones sets, which is sad, and I wish we got more. I wish it wasn't a one and a done, as a matter of fact, but... But with that said, though, guys, that wraps up this video, as a matter of fact. So if you guys can please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. That really help out my channel greatly. And also, guys, those of you guys that are new to the channel, I do more than just LEGO-related stuff. I also do movies and physical media-related content, and I play video games. I do all sorts of stuff like that here on my channel, as a matter of fact. So... If that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube, guys, please make sure you go watch a couple of my other videos. Go cut my other videos a chance, guys. And if you do end up liking this channel, guys, please make sure um, you click that red subscribe button. But most importantly, press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And those of you guys that are not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you go subscribe right after this video, guys. What the heck there we do, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video, as a matter of fact. I'm going to go get ready back to more videos because more videos are on the way sooner rather than later as a matter of fact, guys. But with that said, though, guys, take care, drink water, and stay safe. And I will see you all in the very next video. Bye.